What is the fashion trend that you can't stand but it seems normal for the rest of people? I'm not mad at trends. I am mostly mad that the shit I like isn't as easily available because those trends take over. Fake pockets and zippers. The literally 75 of summer dresses you can't wear any sort of bra with. Beige leggings. Leggings that have the scrunched up crease into the butt crack. It just looks like the outline of a weird butthole loudly crying. Do the broccoli haircuts count? That weird super clean-cut beard hairline look. Looks like someone cut their hair while thinking of how to calculate a hypotenuse. Everything oversized. And most of it cropped. It's honestly hard to find sweaters that aren't 6 inches long and 4 feet wide. Most trendy clothes don't look good unless you have an ideal body type crop tops. Baggy dad jeans, etc. Cropped everything. Those fake eyelashes that make you look like you're two blinks away from flying off. Eyebrows brushed upwards. So weird looking. Broccoli haircuts. Since when do so many guys have curly hair? Do they curl it themselves? I need answers. I'm just glad Target finally stopped selling those weird pioneer woman dresses like they did in 2020. I really thought they were signaling the end of the fashion industry with those and I was like welp. I guess society had a good run. Off to my bunker for the rest of my days. I suppose. Skin tight flesh tone shorts, and severe crop tops. Black and grew up in the hood. Sagging is one of the stupidest and ugliest fashion trends to ever grace us. Women fake tan especially in UK. Hideous clunky trainers with really thick, misshapen soles. It's like they're as ugly as possible on purpose. That fucking mushroom haircut. Too long fake nails. You do you. Obviously. But god damn it I hate seeing those everywhere. How do you even function with two inches of clicky clacky plastic on your fingers? Doesn't it make everything you do a 100x harder? Eating a sandwich? Driving a car? Getting your phone out of your purse? Tying your shoes? Holding a spoon? Turning a doorknob? Sneezing? Skin tight body suits. I never saw anyone wear these until I moved to Florida. And people wear them all the time down here. Onesie bodysuits that look like singlets. They give instant camel toe and don't look good on anyone. Fast fashion. It's just a waste of money. Trends come and go just find a style you like and stick with it. Instead of always following trends. When a dude wears a suit or a nice pair of slacks that show their ankles they're not wearing socks. It confuses me. The sharpie eyebrows. They are so horrible. Long denim skirts. They're so trendy right now and I'm not sure why. Not flattering at all. I don't understand beanies as a fashion thing. If it's cold, then fuck yeah, beanies. But the height of summer, with half the thing hanging off the back of your head? I don't get it. Back in my day having a wedgie was not a flex that's all Ema say about that. I'm mad men are still sagging. Over lining lips, people can tell and they just look stupid and clownish. Long fake nails that end in a point. I keep thinking that someone is going to lose an eye. Cooking videos where the person wears rings and bracelets while mixing something usually dough. With their hands. I'm grossed out by the hygiene aspect. Putting lipstick over your cupid's bow. It's obvious and looks bad. You aren't a brat's doll. Also over lining lips and putting lipstick in the corners of your mouth. You look like the Joker. Men's dress slacks are too tight and they look like high waters. Looks like their pants are too small. Also I'm not going sockless in my $250 loafers. They'd be ruined by sweat in a few outings. Middle parts. 
Not every face can pull them off. Eyebrow lamination where people pay to look like werewolves. I will die before I wear anything low rise ever again. I utterly refuse to get mad about fashion trends. Everyone, at some point in their life, has seen some bitter old asshole complaining about the kids these days. And I fucking will not do it. I will not be that guy. If there's a dumb fashion trend, you know what? I love it. Love that people are having fun. You can't make me get angry about shoes. It's just not fucking worth it. Those stupid ass slides that look like prison shoes. Crop everything. First of all, I'm tall so 90 of shirts are already cropped on me. And then I'm fat and have big boobs. So it is extra cropped on me and barely covers anything. No way. Maybe not a fashion trend but the new trend of face tattoos. I can't help but think people are going to majorly regret them. Those weird half-cut tops. Excuse me Target. Some of us are not teenagers. I'd like to cover my midriff. The fake freckles across the cheeks and bridge of the nose and the fake red nose. So stupid looking. Super long fake eyelashes. Super baggy clothes. I like that like half the answers in this thread so far are things that are already out of fashion. Crocs, overlining lips, lash extensions. Low-rise jeans. I'm all for people wearing what they want but if you're midsize or above they're very challenging. And almost guaranteed to fall down show butt crack give muffin top and affect the way your shirts fall. All for what? To look like you have a super long torso? No thanks. The cop mustaches. Why are dudes rolling with cop stashes? I've never liked the trend of men's suits being cut skinny where they look just a shade on the too small side. Especially the pants. It reminds me of wearing my suit to church on Sunday when I was going through my teenage growth. Spurt. My parents didn't want to waste money on a new suit until I'd finished growing. Can't blame them. I've always thought a leisure suit should look loose and leisurely. I go for the more baggy look whether it's in style or not. A formal suit, of course, should be tailored. Women's shirts with holes in the shoulders. Like, shoulder windows? I don't get it. I don't like it. Tight above the ankle cut pants for men. It looks like one accidentally put mom's jeans on in a hurry grimace. That thing where people make their eyelashes look as unnatural as possible for everyday going about. Your business purposes. It doesn't bother me. Per se. I just think it's stupid. Why does every girl have a wedgie in 2023? Crocs. I don't care if they're apparently comfy. Fashion wise. A huge no. Edit wear whatever you want around home or whatever. It's them being worn out and about. People matching their crocs to their outfits very intentionally. Etc. That's questionable to me. I can't believe I still see ass crack. Underwear showing pants falling down. The concept of following trends. I find it very unauthentic and sheepish. I remember shopping with a friend who pointed out in skirt she liked but didn't buy it because it was no longer on trend. I was truly baffled. I buy whatever I like with zero interest in its trendiness. Kids wearing hoodies all the time. I live in Florida and was driving by the local high school the other day. It was 93 degrees and sunny outside. Nearly every kid was in dark jeans and a dark hoodie. Edit yes. It gets cold in class. I'm taking long breaks or waking home in obnoxiously hot weather. Or just wearing those clothes in the middle of summer. Jeans with holes in them. Especially those that pretty much show your entire leg and look like you are wearing rags. Crop tops for everything. I can't even seem to find normal waist-length shirts now.